written for you. And I know it got cut a lot of it in the film, but it was written for us, but especially for me, because my what when we first saw they started holding up concept pictures, our first major meeting, and it was amazing, like one of those experiences where you suddenly you're in the room with all these famous people, and you said, oh wow, I'm finally here. And so we were all in a room together meeting, and they were holding up concept art of all our characters. And because the characters were so insane and different, we were all kind of wiped away. Wow, wow, wow. And then they held up mine and I had an axe in my head. <laughs> I thought, uh-oh. Um, <laughs> but out in that meeting, they said that what you can do is you can offer to make suggestions about how your character might journey through the films or might go on that journey. So basically, we were allowed the opportunity to come up with ideas. And so out of that, over the next couple of weeks, came the ideas that I, my character, because he had a brain injury, that it was like a foreign language syndrome. And when he got his brain injury, he could only speak Dwarvish, the ancient language. And the first line I have, which is, Tayara mai ma kut karima, is actually ancient Kuzdil. Nobody knows, even the dwarves don't know how, what that means, except for Gandalf, he is the only one that can speak it. But all the rest, Kuz bel kur, that means mighty dwarf. Uh, let me think of some for you. Um, oh, luakrari tu smaug marmada, and that means I don't believe it. Smaug is dead. <laughs> okay, I keep practicing this. Luakrari tu, luakrari tu. I don't believe it. Luakrari tu. <laughs> Amazing having a language written though. The funny thing is, of course, it's a made-up language, and yet they still have a dialogue editor there, absolute perfecting you in the in saying the language. So, if you have a line in that language, you'll have the dialogue people coming in saying, "No, sorry, you don't actually say it like that." You say, you know, you say, "Cool, you've got to get the coolest bell cool," and you feel like saying, "Hold on, it's a made-up language. <laughs> Nobody knows." You could be saying, "You could be speaking in Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody would know. But no, they're very they're absolute perfectionists about the um, about the language. It's amazing. I've just got a vision there of some irate dwarf watching at home, just furious because you, you pronounced something wrong. We've got time for, for maybe just a couple more questions. Lady right at the back there. 